Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's February 10th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Grant Dewey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Grant, thanks for being here this week. Welcome back. You uh, you took a week off. There was a lot of uh, economic news and activity that week. What did you find when you came back to the markets this week? Well, there's uh, so actually this week was relatively quiet week on the economic data front. Uh, you did have Chairman Powell uh, give an interview on Tuesday, which um, which the market reacted to. But I'd say. You know, it's really the positive technical factors that are uh, that were the big driver in our market. You know, this week and and probably going forward a bit. The um, you know, as a result of those, the the market has performed reasonably well despite the uh, bearish uh, employment data last week and and uh, what looks like an increasingly hawkish uh, Fed. You've got muni ratios in ten years are hovering around sixty percent. So. Uh, and 85% on the long run. It's quite a bit richer than where we've been. And uh, institutional demand has, um, you know, has been slowing uh, as a result. It's direct retail, which uh, is particularly strong right now. It's benefited our secondary insurance uh, effort and um, really is providing uh, a nice um, kind of a floor um, in that kind of 20 year part of the curve. Uh, you know, in the near term, I, I think munis, you know, will continue to do well. We've got it's a big redemption month. Investors have uh, 42 billion in principal and interest um, that are being returned uh, in February. That's up 38 uh, percent from January, and that'll be the heaviest month um, until we get to the seasonal you know, the June, July, August summer period. It'll start uh, picking up again. So, you know, the other story I'd say is really pretty light um, new issuance has is, is also been um, kind of a, a tailwind for our market. You've uh, year to date uh, issuance is down about 30% over the same period uh, last year. Um, I will note that last year things started slowing down uh, in March as, as we saw uh, rates, you know, really start to make their move. So uh, they're a relatively strong um, January and February last year, but uh, that really, um, you know, we expect to see a little bit more supply next week. I, you know, in terms of supply, it's really, you know, we see, we're seeing a lot of activity in Texas. Um, you know, a third of February's redemptions are going to be uh, in Texas paper. So, um, you know, the combination of like the PSF program uh, continuing to be, you know, uh, fully utilized, that's helped generate uh, a lot more demand for private insurance during uh, during this period of relatively high issuance. Last week, the two largest insured deals uh, were Texas. We did a $98 million Sheldon uh, Texas ISD. And, and again, the secondary, we're seeing Texas demand. So um, that is uh, expect performance and that uh, will pick up despite the heavy issuance uh, given you've got about, I think uh, 16 billion or so of, of uh, principal, actually a little bit less. Uh, of principle being returned to Texas investors. In a great article on Bloomberg News last week, talking about that Texas school district sector, $22 billion of voter approved uh, bonds across Texas school districts during calendar year 2022. A lot of them are coming into market uh, right now. Um, outside Texas next week, I know the, the calendar gets a little bit heavier. Uh, I think nationwide, you're a little over $7 billion for the total calendar. BAM has a, a, a fairly large transaction coming out of California. The Twin Rivers Unified School District has three series totaling just over $100 million. Uh, we have a BAM Credit Insights video uh, posted to our website on that one. That's going to be priced by Raymond James uh, at some point during the next week. And Todd Tomich uh, discusses the credit uh, on our uh, website. We encourage you to check out that video. Any other observations before we go into the week? Not really. Good to be back and, uh, and uh, look forward to a little bit more issuance next week. Great. Thanks, Grant. Have a great weekend. Right. Thanks, Mike.